real quick video. I wasn't even planning on doing this, but I'm currently on my way down with my husband to South Florida for like just a quick trip um, to visit family. And so crazy, we went to the gas station right now and we went to put gas and we only, you know, we just need to fill up like a half a tank or whatever. And it didn't cost no more than like 24, $30, I don't know, something like that. And then, you know, we finish up at the gas station, we pack up and leave. Um, and I did use one of our credit cards for that. We really don't use credit cards, but just using it right now for the trip and then paying it off afterwards, pretty much. But anyways, the point is, we're back on the road and we're driving, and then I get a text message saying that $175 has been uh, just, you know, there's a transaction of $175 at the Love's gas station. And so right away I'm freaking out. I'm like, what do you mean $175? And then so me and my husband are like looking at each other and like all of a sudden like just thinking like what the heck is going on? So we get on the phone with the credit card company and um, yeah, basically they're like, oh, it's a new thing now that a lot of gas stations are doing because apparently people are stealing gas. That's the, reason, the reasoning that they gave us. But is that the real reason? I don't know. I guess it maybe would make sense because cost of gas now but a hold of a hundred and seventy five dollars they retain it yeah they retain it and then they release it she said that it usually is within like 48 hours but how ridiculous is that i mean what if we didn't notice and then you know during the course of this lengthy trip that we're taking if we did put gas you know three more times today still using that card and then there's going to be multiple holds potentially and she said yeah that's what we're seeing so, and then she did clarify that if you pay inside with your card, not at the pump, that they don't put the hold. So, I mean, I guess every gas station that we stop at now, we're gonna clarify that before putting the gas. But the point is, <laughs> um, I just had to make this quick video. Usually I don't, I don't know, I'm not like the ranting kind, just gonna like jump on camera and like rant about something. But this is crazy. And she said it started about a month ago. So if you haven't heard about this at all, um, I don't know, just keep your eyes open, especially if you're using a credit card at a gas station. All the more reason to um, cash. Yeah, yeah, my husband says all the more reason to keep paying cash now for everything. I agree. On that note, I will end this video here. Hope you guys are all well. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, so I just want to make a really quick update because after I recorded that last segment that you saw, we went to another gas station. Of course, after a couple hours, we needed to put a little bit more gas. And my husband, <laughs> he asked to speak with the manager before we did put the gas. And the man, you know, he explained the situation, asked about it, and the manager actually said, oh no, this is a problem that's been going on now for a little while. And it's not the gas stations, it's the banks that are withholding those funds. So, and then she kind of like did her arguments, you know, about it. And anyways, at the end, I'm just, I don't know. We were both, you know, feeling like, um, you know, each other party was pointing the blame at the other one. And at the end of the day, it's our funds or the funds that are in the account that are being held up. So not that we care, but it's the point. So anyways, we didn't really get to the bottom of it because it's like a he said, she said situation. Um... And the gas station that we had gone to, you know, where he was talking to the manager, she said, oh yeah, it's all banks that's been doing this. So I don't know who to believe. Um, anyways, the point is, um, it was really odd that it happened and it was very upsetting. I was so mad, but yeah. So it has been close to 48 hours since that happened. I have gone back and looked into the account and they did remove that hold of 175 and now it shows that we only spent $24 and some cents at that gas station. So everything's all cleared up, but I just wanted to bring it up because that was very shocking and really annoying. So yeah, we're just going to always pay inside at the gas station, not at the pump and try and pay in cash if possible. So anyways, that's that. Other than that whole situation, we're actually having a really great time here in South Florida. We've already been visiting family, eating a lot of good food, probably too much food. So today, uh, thankfully, my mom loves to juice, so she's been making celery juice and carrot juice, and we've been drinking juices, and yeah, I'll just try and take it easy for the next day or so because the fun is definitely going to continue, and um, we're definitely indulging down here, so 
Anyways, I hope everybody is well. If that has ever happened to you at the gas station or if you've heard of this happening to somebody, definitely let me know. I've never heard of it before. It came to a shock to me. So anyways, let me know down in the comments below. But again, I hope everybody is well and I'll talk to you all super soon. Bye.